there will no be no more fans this week. What well, this year should I say? It's gonna be no more fans coming to the link, y'all. You know what I say? I don't give a damn. Ain't nobody wanna see that crap that Doug Peterson is putting out there any damn way. We coming out there to what? To what? What are we watching? What are you showing us, Doug? Oh man, I can't wait. Yeah, I got some things to talk about, y'all. Yo, that. A G L E S. Say fly eagles fly. Fly eagles fly. Fly eagles fly. <laughs>
how did you do a good job play calling? We was damn near seven yards a clip running a football, and you almost had a two-to-one ratio running and, and passing. Once again, Carson Wentz throws the ball over 35 times. Once again, you don't run the football when needed to be. Once again, you stunt Miles Sanders from having 800 yards. And probably Boston Scott for that. For, for. It's crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm frustrated right now. I'm, I'm frustrated. But it's crazy to me because you wanna know why? When you look at it, after the after the uh, Boston Scott touchdown, 50-yard run, shout out to that guy. Uh, still a giant killer to me. His stats against the Giants got to be better than any other team he plays. That's just, That's got to be facts. And I don't even need to look at those stats to, to tell you that. That's just an odd test. Um, but like I said, shout out to him for that. But I was like, damn, okay, Doug sees that this running is working. Let's run the football. Yeah, we about to get it. Second half going, we just going to run it down their throats. Pause. But yeah, what do you do? It's it's funny that you call it a game managing, a game managing game plan, right? But yet and still, you didn't run the football. Yet and still, your defense was getting barbecued, not in the air really until the last until the, until, until the last couple uh, series. But barbecue chicken on the ground. But you want your quarterback to change his game to be a manager of the game. How does that even sound? But you want him to throw 35 times. 38, really. That's not including the dropbacks. That's not including the sacks. Listen, let me tell you something, man. Either play calling goes, Doug, or you go. That's what needs to happen. It's nothing to discuss. You are the downfall of this team. You are the reason we have the record that we do. We could talk about Carson. We could talk about defense. We could talk about all this stuff. But you, Mr. Doug Peterson, are the reason. You can't tell me nothing different. Your play calling, your situational football. Why are you going for two when all you need to do is kick an extra... You want to know? You want to know what's so bad, and it's not just the fact that you could have been down by three, and you're just chasing. You're chasing two point conversion. It's the fact again, you don't put your players in a good position. If if it's a close game, I'm going to need my kicker to get as many reps and as many times as him to see that football go through the goalpost as he can. I don't get it. And then not only that, you are the head coach. Your team was not prepared. I understand Jim Schwartz is defensive coordinator, but your defense was not. Your defense was not ready. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't understand, for the love of me, why is it that you don't understand situational football? You know it's a close game. You're going to need your kicker. Well, it should have been a close game. Oh and oh and nine. Oh and nine on third down. Now a lot of people want to point that to Carson Wentz. I have to really do my due diligence and break down every third down. I seen some drops on third downs. I seen some bad play calling. I seen I seen a lot of bad things, man. Now, I'm not saying Carson Wentz was perfect. He wasn't. What did we ask him to do, though, y'all? Don't turn the football over. Don't try to be Superman. We've been asking him to do this for the last couple weeks, right? Comes out here and does it. And now he can pump his chest and say, when I don't play how I play, this is what you get. And that's what we got. I got a problem with that. You know what I mean? When you look at it, hold on, man. Let me get ready. I got to get up out of here. When you look at it, right? Special teams wasn't ready. Obviously. Rhaegar, let me highlight you for a minute. Um, Greg Ward, let me highlight you for a minute. Y'all freaking stink. Yo, catch the football. This is what I'm talking about. The team wasn't ready. 
11 penalties. The team wasn't ready. That's on a head coach. Coming off a bye, Jim Swartz, I am going to get with you tomorrow. Best believe you got some smoke coming to you. Man, like I said, man, I got to really look at the tape and, 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 and break down these third downs because when, when you really look at it, I really don't know who was really at fault. I really don't know who really was at fault, but I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. The play calling was, it, it, it was garbage. It was garbage. And he got a nerve to get up on that podium and say that he think he did a good job. This is what we dealing with. This is what we did. This is what I, this is what we dealing with, man. Jason Kelsey, what's going on with you? You all right? You all right, big dog? You all right, big dog? What's up with you? It just seemed like anything, like 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 anything that could go wrong, was going wrong for us, man. That's not the team that I'm used to, coming off a bye and and, and you know having time to get things together. But at what what does people want to talk about though? You want to talk about because Carson Wentz was hunting. So the freak what? The man's not allowed that. What did he? Would you be mad if he spent time with his kid too? What the man's not allowed to have a social life? And once again, people come out of their mouth and they don't even know the rules, especially with this COVID thing. He can't do anything. It's either the facility or that's it. And he can't be in a facility at certain times because of all this COVID stuff. But yet and still, y'all want to ring your mouth about Carson. Y'all want to talk about Carson. I'm going to get, I'm going to go live. We're going to talk about Carson. Y'all want him to be a game manager. This is what you got. The Eagles freaking stink right now. Still my team, still loving to death. But damn, Doug. I need to make a whole segment called Damn It, Doug. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. As you can see, I'm not in a very good mood. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. As you can see, I'm ready for Doug to either be fired or just give a play call. And that's what I need you to do. And if you're not gonna be that stubborn, you wanna go down with the ship? See ya. See ya. Seriously, man. That's really it for the day, man. Um, I know it's some things I missed. I had things on my mind. Like I said, I don't really write nothing down. I give it to y'all raw how I feel, Pauls. I give it to y'all how I feel, man. And I know I'm missing some things. But I'm going to clean them up for y'all. You know what I mean? Uh, and this whole week, we got some things to talk about because we got the Cleveland Browns coming up. Let's not let's not try to act like the season is over and we can't win the NFC East. So we still got some things to talk about. We still got some things to get at, but did, did, for the for for the uh, first part of this week, I got to get at these coaches. You know what I mean? Howie signed Jordan Howard yesterday. Listen, man, that's really it, man. Appreciate all of y'all. Like I said, stopping by, man. You already know what it is. Yo, that.